Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Sunday, Rule by the Sun, January 21st, and the energies in the day adds up or reduced to number three vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are rocking with the hyena energy. Whenever I see the hyena energy, I my attention goes to the sun in the background. I mean the moon in the background. And I look at the moon in the background and it feels to me like the moon is revealing something, something is being exposed, the hyena is becoming aware of something. And you look at the hairs on the back of it and to me they look like they're standing up. So when I look at this card, I think of like easily irritated or irritated after becoming aware of something. Also to when I see this card, it brings me to it brings me to working smarter because I think of how with the hyenas, how other animals, you know, will make the kill, do the hard work and they'll creep slide in and, you know, take advantage of that. So also to talking about taking advantage, when I look at the hyena energy, what's coming to mind for the first time is hidden enemies. And I try to avoid, I guess, it's coming to mind, so I'm sharing that because clearly someone needs to know that. And with this energy here, what I'm getting is, you know, someone being super optimistic about an encounter or super optimistic about something when you know you might be living in the past about this relationship dynamic or this connection and the other person that you might be dealing with you know they have motives or they have intentions it's like that's the vibe that i'm getting with this card here and i guess when i think of the word enemy thing it's like it just seems so dramatic to me not dramatic but it's like when someone says, I hate, it's like, that's such a hard word. And, and maybe it's a part of me that don't want to feed into certain things because I know wherever attention goes, energy grows. But this brings me to when I used to have my salon and my clients, I remember I had a client that was like an FBI agent and she always carried a gun on her. And she would always say to me, you need to get a gun, blah, blah, blah. And I just, at the time, I didn't feel that way. And she instead brought me mace. And that was kind of her. And eventually, like, like at that time, I didn't want to engage in that kind of a mindset or anything like that. I think, like, yeah, I didn't want to engage in that kind of mindset or anything like that. And few, a month or a few months later, like maybe four months later, I think, three months later, I was robbed at gunpoint leaving. And even though being robbed at gunpoint leaving work, it didn't make me think that, oh, if I had a gun, things would have changed. But what I realized was me acting like certain things aren't possible doesn't make me exempt if that makes sense. Where it's like, if I had the right mindset, I would have realized that the back door to the salon should have been covered because that's where the person was able to stay and watch to see me locking up to then, you know, come around and do whatever. And I honestly feel like the universe allowed everything to happen the way 
it did because at that time I didn't know boundaries and whenever I was put in a situation to create boundaries I would get mad at the person because I didn't like to I didn't like to deal in situations where it felt like the person like I didn't like to deal in situations where it felt like you know I'm saying no like I felt wrong for saying no or making someone like just uncomfortable all you number nines and Libras you know exactly what I mean but it's like just like you know people please like not wanting to not please someone type of vibe and I remember after getting robbed like after getting robbed it was a Wednesday in April and I remember feeling like oh my god like I thought the person robbed me and got a lot of money from me a lot of money to the point that I was terrified thinking that they were going to make a sport robbing me on a Wednesday to be able to get all that money from me on a Wednesday, probably even equivalent to somebody's weekly paycheck or something on a Wednesday. And I remember the day after getting robbed, I stopped at the gas station and I wanted to buy a popsicle and I, I knew I didn't have any cash but I knew I had quarters and change. I knew I had a bunch of change in my bag somewhere. And I knew I would be able to find four quarters to buy a popsicle. And I'm at the gas pump. Um, I'm, I'm at the gas station. I didn't get gas. Um, I, I, I'm digging through my bag to get uh, the coins. And I opened the zipper in the side part of my bag. And there was a huge wad of money rolled up. I guess I had hit it from myself because when dude was robbing me, like he kept apologizing while he was robbing me. And I felt sorry for him robbing me at the time because of the situation that he was explaining while he was. And I ended up giving him like all the money that I was aware of that I had. And at the same time, I guess I was terrified, but I remember unzipping my bag and seeing all that money in the corner of my bag and realizing that he barely got anything. Like say of 100% of what I had, he probably only got like 15% of it. And I feel like the universe made me hide that from myself because if I knew it was there, I would have given it to him. But the point of that story is I guess if I had a gun at the time, I would have been more aware of my surroundings. But even if I didn't have a gun, like I would have been if, if I wasn't thinking that, oh, my thought, like trying to I, I think of it like Neptune, Neptune, Jupiter energy in the sense that I'm in La La Land and not seeing my surroundings for what they were at the time where if I wasn't in La La Land I could have avoided that situation happening and that situation taught me just because you're optimistic and avoid certain realities doesn't mean that they won't come find you so from that situation I learned to be more observant about my surroundings where after that situation happened whenever i would of course i covered up the door but now when i was leaving the salon before i even got outside i would turn on my car to panic so it makes a loud noise if it was late so i could you know so a lot of noise and the lights are flashing when i'm leaving like i took more precautions but even before that time when i was saying about boundaries and people pleasing like a client will come what I would consider as late, which is like six o'clock and the time gets darker sooner and they're showing up unexpected last minute, but say she might have an interview tomorrow and I want her to go to her interview looking good because I know how for some women, you know, when it comes to their appearance and how their hair is and things like that, that might determine whether they get the respect they deserve or not. So I'll make certain things like that my problem when they shouldn't be and say yes when I should say no. And that situation helped me to have boundaries that I should have. And I feel like something about today where it's like, you know, 
know when to say no. I think of the number three energy in the day brings this childlike, optimistic, playful energy. I think of the moon in Gemini brings this optimistic, childlike, playful energy. And it's like, sometimes we got to stop playing and pay attention to the reality of what's happening around us. And for me, I was completely naive and wasn't paying attention to the reality of what was happening around me. I never felt the need to share that story here. Like I've only shared it in Patreon, but for whatever reason, like I guess I needed to sh I needed to share it. So, you know, someone knows like don't take your environment for granted. Don't take the people around you for granted in the sense that just because of authority or titles, you might see a person a certain way, but don't mean that they see you that way is what I'm getting uh, from that energy. I look at the moon. The moon is in Gemini, like I mentioned, and the moon is still in a social place and it's squaring Saturn still in Pisces, which makes me think of like the moon, our inner world, not wanting to get serious, not wanting to be organized, not wanting to deal with things in an orderly fashion. I look at um, the card coming out for the day is temperance in the upright position. Temperance deals with balance. We balance our emotions and the practical aspects of things. In the reversal position, this brings me to an imbalance in things, like something is out of balance. So I feel like at the time, me being all optimistic and, you know, like genuinely optimistic um, and just felt like, you know, like, like, uh, this is so wild, like, it's wild because I remember coming across something on YouTube the other day, but it was playing and I allow it to play while I was um, I create, creating the thumbnails for the videos or something. And it was about this man who um, who took the life of his child's mom. And he was saying to the detectives before like they figured out he did it or whatever like he was trying to make it seem like some random stranger did it and he was like you know she naturally sometimes will get up at three four in the morning and go for a walk on the beach and he'll say to her you know it's dangerous blah 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 whatever and she would say to him you know god will take care of me god will protect me blah 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 and i think how sinister it is for him to do what he did to her and in his mind he was probably thinking like I didn't even got to say what he was thinking, but when he said that about her, it reminded me of me then, you know, feeling so naive to the point that I ignore my reality. And that's what I'm getting for today. Don't be so naive to the point that you ignore your reality. Feel like it took a lot out of me to get to that, to say that, but like, yeah, don't be so naive to the point that you ignore your reality. Like there's a way of being optimistic and positive, but at the same time, still being aware of your reality. I remember with the whole firearm thing, I used to see it in such a negative light until one day I visit this farm down in Homestead, deep in Florida, and I was picking lychees. It was this huge farm. And I was picking lychees and the lady gave me this tool to cut the branches, the small branches to get the fruit. And I mishandled the tool and cut a huge gash in my finger. And in that moment, I'm like, a tool is a tool and any tool misused could hurt you. Just like a firearm is a tool and, you know, any tool misused can hurt you. So in that moment, I started seeing it different. Where for a while, you know, I wouldn't allow myself to see it the way how I needed to see it until, you know, I had a moment where everything clicked for me. But I hope everything clicks for you and you're very aware and observant of your situation and you don't allow, you know, just be balanced. When I say balance, I think of the temperance energy and I think of us balancing our emotions with practicality in the sense that. We're aware of our surroundings and we're aware of what it is that we're feeling and we're checking in with both at the same time. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive contents available only on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. But before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. 
and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.